welcome back to Geeky Greenhouse. Today we have nine seed starting tips for beginners. So when you're just started out gardening and you're gonna plant your first seeds, there are so many mistakes that you can make and we've made dozens of them ourselves. So today we thought we'd go through some of the most common mistakes that we have made and that we've seen others making too. And keep in mind that these tips are definitely geared more towards beginners, but even if you're a seasoned gardener, you may be able to learn a thing or two from this video as well. So the first tip is to get your timing right. And the most common mistake is actually starting too early, not too late. Typically you'll get excited and you wanna get your seeds in the ground, but oftentimes early gardeners will jump the gun and plant weeks before they really should. Yeah, we've done this many times and we end up with so many plants and we just run out of room and there's no more space to keep them. It's easy to forget that six small seed cells will soon become six larger plants like this and sooner than you might think. So just make sure that you're timing your seed planting right. So in order to do this, make sure you check your last frost date, check the back of your seed packets, see when you're supposed to be starting those seeds and make sure you time it appropriately. The next seed starting tip is planting depth. You don't want to plant your seeds too deep and you don't want to plant them too shallow. A general rule of thumb is about two times the size of the seed, but you can also check the back of the seed packet and it'll tell you exactly how deep you should be planting your seeds. And there are exceptions to that depth rule. There are many seeds that actually require some light to germinate properly like lettuce and even strawberries. So if it says surface sow, that means you don't bury it at all. You just sort of press the seeds into the surface of the soil. The next seed starting tip is to never let your seeds dry out. This is pretty much a universal rule across all seeds. They need moisture in order to germinate. As soon as you see the surface of the soil getting dry, you definitely want to mist those seedlings because the root is forming first. So you want to make sure that they're continuously kept moist. The next seed starting tip for beginners is to start small. Don't plant more than you can chew, literally. It's really easy to get excited, but it's also easy to get overwhelmed. If you dive deep into any specific plant group like peppers, you're gonna find a lot of diversity and it's easy to go overboard. So try to just pick a few that appeal to you, get to know that plant group before you take it to the next level. And always check to see what grows well in your area. That way you're more guaranteed to have a good successful year. The next tip is to stay organized. If you do have different varieties, it's a good idea to label each of your seed cells or containers to make sure you don't lose track of what's what. We also use a binder to keep all of our seeds in and we have found that that is so far the best way to organize our seed collection. You also wanna make sure that everything you plant has a designated final spot in your garden. And while this doesn't apply directly to seed starting, it's a really good idea to take notes right from the point of planting your seeds all the way through the season so that you can look back on them next year and avoid any mistakes you made. The next seed starting tip for beginners is to make sure that you have adequate lighting and climate control. While we personally use grow lights for our seed starting, it is not necessary and a sunny south facing window will do just fine. If it's your first year gardening, then maybe a grow light doesn't make sense for you if you're just growing a handful of plants, but in time you may grow into that and discover that your results may be better if you use them. A seed heating mat may also be useful for some things that you may be growing and a humidity dome is recommended to keep the seeds from drying out. And you don't necessarily need to buy these things. A warmer place in your home, like above the refrigerator, is a common hack. Or creating sort of a makeshift humidity dome. You don't necessarily need to buy a purpose-made humidity dome. You can use things like leftover food containers or even just saran wrap to keep the surface of the soil moist. The next seed starting tip is to thin out your seedlings early on before they develop a strong root system. You don't want your small seedlings to compete with each other for soil space and end up entangled and difficult to prune later on. Yeah, and this can definitely be a really difficult process because nobody likes plucking healthy seedlings, but it has to be done. So we like to do this pretty early on when the seedlings are very small. You can actually uproot them if they're small enough or just snip off the base of the weakest plants. Another quick tip within this one is to plant multiple seeds. So that way, if some of the seeds don't germinate, you'll have at least one plant per cell. And you'll definitely want to thin your seedlings if you're direct sowing in the ground as well, not just if you're starting them indoors. The next seed starting tip for beginners is to monitor for pests right away. So pest problems can definitely get out of hand very quickly. So you want to make sure that you're monitoring for pests from the start. The easiest way to do this is just to look at your plants regularly, get in there really close. You could even use a magnifying glass and look on the tops and undersides of the leaves for any suspicious activity. 
We also like using yellow sticky traps to trap anything that may be flying around. And it's also good to use a fan on your seedlings because not only will it help prevent fungus gnats, it will also help strengthen your seedlings as well. And the final tip is to be patient. These strawberry seedlings are well over a month old, and as you can see, they're very small, and they're really only just starting to grow more quickly. Many plants are like this, so if they don't get off to an immediate, fast-growing start, don't be discouraged. They're just setting their roots deep and getting ready to grow faster in the future. Patience is probably one of the most important lessons that gardening or plant keeping teaches you. We hope you found these seed starting tips helpful. Let us know if you have any additional tips down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.